Before creating the portals, the ancients explored the universe using magical relics called Rift Engines. But in their haste to spread the light of Skylands to other worlds, they created a powerful Rift Engine that opened a door to a forbidden world and unleashed a destructive force into Skylands, the Darkness. Centuries later, in the age of the Portal Masters, the Skylanders had become the greatest champions the world had ever known. No enemy or debris could stand before their might. But the darkness was still out there, somewhere, laying in wait. Suddenly, tremors and aftershocks rumbled throughout the land. Some great evil was being conjured in the arcane keep of the Spellpunks. The devious Spellpunks had unearthed the very same cursed relic that had allowed the darkness into Skylands centuries ago. The Dark Rift Engine. The Spellpunks had to be stopped before they could use its power to awaken the darkness. But the way to the Citadel had grown treacherous. Danger sprang from the shadows. The Spellpunks were drawing magic from the Dark Rift Engine, feeding power to the darkness. The Skylanders fought their way through the danger, charging into the mouth of the Spellpunk Keep. Then, without warning, all of Skylands began to quake. And a wave of fear swept over the land as a great and terrible shadow erupted from the keep. It bellowed in a deep and malevolent voice. Behold, Skylands, I have returned. All shall fear and obey me. I am... The darkness! The war of the darkness had nearly been lost as all of Skylands was being held in its terrible grip. But there was one chance. A mythical device built by the ancients to combat the darkness had been discovered. It was called the Core of Light. But finding its location would be the most dangerous mission of them all. The darkness knew the core of light would be its end, and so it attacked. Its dark power was beyond comprehension. It shattered mountains and bridges with casual disdain. Treasure. Darkness's rage was earth-shaking and all-consuming, for it knew that in order for its power to grow, the core of light must stay hidden. Undaunted, even in the face of this great evil, the Skylanders continued the quest. It called forth its evil servants to do its terrible bidding. But they would fall before the Skylander like limp bundles of experience and treasure. The darkness grew desperate. Again and again it attacked with renewed fury. And then, after a long journey, the lost citadel of the Portal Masters had been reached. The radiant purity of the core of light had been found at last. But in the distance, the darkness raged on. The forces of good had discovered the hidden location of the core of light, but they soon realized that the ancients had never completed this great machine, a secret that to this day has been forgotten. But with the darkness closing in for the final blow, they had no choice. They would power up the core and risk everything in a final battle. 
And they would hope that even an incomplete core of light would be enough to keep the darkness at bay. The Skylander sped into action. There was only one chance. An all-out attack to drive the darkness toward the core itself. But the darkness would not go easily. The darkness laid snares and traps for the Skylander. The Skylander, however, would not be halted. Desperate, the darkness unleashed its full power. Their battle echoed across all Skylands, trading blows that shattered islands in their wake. But inch by inch it was pushed back until it was in range of the core. And then its glorious light filled the sky. With the core of light holding it at bay, it was forced to flee and hide in the deepest, darkest parts of Skylands once again. But for how long? One day it will return for its revenge. In order to destroy the darkness once and for all, the secret to completing the core of light and unleashing its true power must be found. This will be my life's work.